Uh, uh, oh, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the workshop. We're making a giant ridiculous sword for how ridiculous. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy it. Let's jump in and make some stuff. But let's thank our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Magic Spoon, who makes a delicious, very serious, but very playful cereal. When I wake up in the morning, all I want to do is tuck myself back under my bed sheets and go back to sleep. But I got a very serious task ahead of me. I've got a lot of hard work to do in the workshop, so I've got to take my diet seriously. But with Magic Spoon, you get to enjoy a playful breakfast with only zero grams of sugar, three grams of net carbs, and 11 grams of protein. You're going to be well set up for the day with their high protein, keto friendly, grain free, wheat free, gluten free, naturally flavored a childlike cereal. You can play games on the back of their cereal boxes and enjoy flavors that remind you of childhood like cocoa, blueberry, fruity, and frosted. My absolute favorite being cocoa. Who doesn't love a good bowl of chocolate cereal in the morning? You can enjoy it all guilt-free because it's actually healthy. It's good food. You can get your variety pack with free shipping by going to magicspoon.com forward slash forge and using code forge at checkout. Folks, they have a 100% money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, they'll give you your money back. It's good stuff. Thank you, Magic Spoon. Let's get into the video. Okay, I've got all the grinding done on the sword, and it is super rough. This is absolutely not one of our, you know, high craftsmanship pieces, one of our pieces of art or historical uh, attempts at a historical replica. It's not that. This is designed to look awesome flying through the air and stabbing through ridiculous things. And so the finish that I want to do in it is a forge scale finish. kindly put the sword through the forge for me. The forge, speaking of which, is now disassembled as it's getting a new lining put in. What we're now going to do is work on that guard, get that squared away, before we uh, put a final edge on this bad boy. I'm making ourselves a little gauge tool here in the lathe so that we can see if we actually have our entire tang area one inch round. Because if this one inch hole, it's not an inch yet, but once it is an inch hole, if that hole doesn't pass through the tang, I need to grind the tang some more and I'll know exactly where to do it. So let's poke this out to an inch. The hole on our guard is too small for the tank. So what we need to do is we need to open it up. I want to use a drill bit, but I am a little bit nervous that this ugly hole is going to catch this drill bit and turn this into a bad time. So I'm going to try my best to stay nice and clear of the milling machine as we drill in case something bad happens and cross my fingers to see if we can open up this hole. You see this spectacular and interesting little device? This is a boring head. It's got an indexable little carbide cutter. We're gonna use that to open up the hole, the half millimeter more that it needs to fit onto our sword tank.
With the guard now fitted in place, it's time to think about handle materials once again. At the very first episode of this project, I suggested the use of Delrin plastic. But I think that might be just a little bit too tricky for us right now. We're short on time. I was meant to send this thing off to Australia two weeks ago. So I need to get my act together and work fast. Faster than I've ever worked. What we've got to overcome though is we have a very long piece of wood. And a very long handle. But not so long drill bits. So this dilemma leaves us, I believe, with two options. Option number one, we go ahead and we take a saw in a woodworking shop, we cut down this thing, open it up, just like we would on a traditional sword handle, we carve out a groove for the tang, easy peasy lemon squeezy, glue it back together, shape her up, good to go. Option number two is we make ourselves a spade drill bit, which would be really cool. What I've enjoyed about this project is all these tangents we've been on. We got to make chain hoist holding things. We got to learn about internal threading. There's been lots of good adventures and building a really long drill bit would be fun, but I don't think I'd be able to build my first drill bit well enough to actually drill a long straight hole. So let's go to the woodworking shop and try to not cut a hand off on the circular table saw. Frankly, you could drill to Mars with one of these things. Really you just stack up enough of them, they'll drill all the way through to Mars. Our ginormous handle has been rough shaped. What we're now gonna do, after I took a bit of wire on it, wrapped it up, spray painted over it, we have ourselves a spiral, and we're gonna cut a little decorative flute with a small wheel attachment on our Cuba 48. Righty ho, time for us to harden the tip. We're also gonna burn this handle. And quick. We'll give it a little temper too. That tip is hardened and tempered. This is blackened. It looks really cool, might I say. The last penultimate step for us to get some five minute epoxy. Fill this bad boy up with glue. That's done. Ladies and gentlemen, the sword is complete. It's so heavy and it's so huge. Wowza, eight feet long. And it tops out on the scales at a very appropriate 44 pounds. 
44 pounds of sword for the How Ridiculous team to drop off their tower. This is not my finest example of craftsmanship at all. But it's been a ton of fun. We got to build ourselves a chain hoist. We got to do internal threading. We got to work on a massive block of steel. Most of all, we got to have fun. We're gonna be sending it down to How Ridiculous for them to drop off their tower. Subscribe to their channel so you can see this thing get dropped. In a few more weeks, they'll have that video up, so subscribe to them, turn on your notifications as we end this video. Let's thank today's sponsor. And that's Magic Spoon. Check them out at the link in the description to get yourself free shipping. Thank you, Magic Spoon, for sponsoring us. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure. Super fun project. Bye-bye.